Hello and welcome back to another episode of Wasteland 3. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough on Supreme Jerk difficulty. It is indeed episode 20, I think. So we got a little bit of an anniversary here and it's to death so far. So we're doing very, very well for ourselves. Um, learned a lot about the game and how I would potentially rebuild characters. One thing that I did in your absence is I really thought lengthy about how often do we need certain skills, right? Just want to um, run you through a few ideas. I looked uh, through all of the perks and the three or four skills that I came up with um, that I don't think are super vital on most of the characters uh, would uh, be barter. Um, that's nice to have a couple of points in it, but a barter 10 on the main characters doesn't really seem like a great idea because you can buy almost everything in your ranger a HQ and I didn't appreciate that. Weapon modding is another one because the weapon modding thing, the only thing that it really um, offers you from the perk perspective is finding more ammunition. Granted, that would save money, I get it. Um, but other than that, uh, you can dismantle most of the weapons very much in the HQ. So that doesn't really fit very well. Survival, I'm still not 100% convinced. I mean, Survival 10, the perk is nice. You get the entire map. But do you really need that on a Ranger? Or can you essentially do that for uh, on a Ranger that is just staying in the base? So those three are a little bit um, off. The other uh, thing that I uh, noticed is armor modding, but I will say that the perk level 10 perk is actually a great combat perk because it gives everybody plus eight armor. And that's a lot. That is uh, quite a bit of armor and making yourself a bit more tanky. So I would say that one is on the edge. And the reason why I bring it up is because I feel there are on the other hand, other skills uh, upon my reflection that are just giving super passive bonuses and have apparently no downside. For instance, Animal Whisperer, having uh, five points in it, grabbing that extra uh, perk for the, uh, for the spirit animal and having a big fat animal run around to deal extra damage. That seems like a pretty no-brainer for many of the characters. The other thing uh, that seems to skill, uh, very, um, scale very well is weird signs and explosives. So not both of them, of course, but like one of them at a time. Because we do have explosives uh, here on Ramos. And um, I can definitely see with the perks in explosive that um, you could not only gather more explosives, but um, some of the weapons that I've uh, seen, or weapon mods, um, in the weird bazaar change the, the type, and one type seems to be explosive. So that in itself is ultra good, plus there are a couple of defensive perks. And Weird Science is very similar, right? Because if you look at Weird Science, uh, gives you uh, extra damage against armor targets and also bypassing it. Also, energy attacks have a 20% chance uh, to electrocute enemies. So those two are also very good. I guess the point that I'm trying to make is um, on the bare skill part, it seems like Weird Science is uh, and, and Explosive is a very complementary skill to your um, to your weapon uh, skills so they seem to work very very well together and then there is that last um, perk that stood out from the rest which is these this draw perk and i was uh, giving it a lot of thought um, because we did have this here uh, the crossbow just with one shot so if you can't find weapons with one shot you can free reload uh, them and essentially just the reloading uh, value becomes your uh, becomes your shooting value. So that seems uh, borderline OP if you can get enough uh, perks into those skills. And then, um, yeah, so th th those would be the skills that uh, appear uh, to be very, not only complementary, but uh, very good on all of the characters. So naturally, my mind goes to the question, would it uh, be better or more beneficial for us uh, to essentially 
drop the skills that are not uh, so much needed. For instance, Central here uh, did have barter and hit a couple of point, uh, points in it. Not regretting it, it uh, makes the playthrough easier, but uh, those are points that I could have invested uh, some, somewhere else, right? Leadership with its active abilities seems nice as well. So I'm just thinking about uh, builds in uh, in general and the value of uh, certain uh, of certain builds, whether or not they are good or uh, or not. Second uh, topic around attributes is I uh, think that a lot of the attributes on level two are a really, really good um, addition instead of one. So dropping them to one might have been in some cases a bit of a, a problem. I still stand by the fact that intelligence seems to be an overwhelmingly good stat and coordination also on most of the characters, but uh, we have reached a point in the game where uh, strength becomes more important as well. So just a couple of thoughts. Uh, I thought I'd get it out at the beginning of uh, the episode. So I created a, a character here in uh, the Ranger HQ, needed to pay uh, quite a bit of um, uh, funds actually, but that character is affluent in bartering and is very good at uh, weapon modding as well and I think I'll give them the other skills over time so that they can essentially um, help us uh, to just do our downtime stuff. In the meantime we found another uh, another uh, character here. Where is your husband? I think he's by the garage. I'm not exactly sure where because we're afraid to get any closer. That would trigger the bombs. But I think he's okay for now. Please, you have to save us both. As you move closer, she scrambles no! away. Quick look at the bomb is all you need to realize. Uh, it's mostly duct tape and red spray paint. Uh, if there is any ex uh, actual explosive in there, the flimsy twine attached certainly won't detonate it. We'll see what we can do. Okay, let's uh, take a look at that. All right, so you might ask yourself what's on the menu for today. I think we're going with a Zellot, which will force us to travel to Denver. Good luck out there. And we're going to try to fight the first son there. So, join me on that wild ride as we're just getting ready here. Equipment, armor plating. Hmm, that'll make him much, much slower, but armor is important. Okay, so. Our job is to get to Denver. Right up here. Let's hey, go, I'm boys. Back. Dr. Frankenshooter here with another episode of Monster Gun Mods. I know it's been a while since I did an update on the Napalm Cannon build. Those burns I got last episode took a long time to heal, bro. But while I was waiting for the skin grafts to set, I got an idea for an even more radical build. You heard of nail guns, right? Well, I'm gonna build a nail mini gun. That's right. Stay tuned. It sounds indeed like the guy is very much radical. If he burned off his own skin, and then the first thing after healing that he comes up with is building an even more radical minigun. Let's stay on the highway for now. And something is up here, isn't it? 
Ah, uh, no, it just says radioactive. Okay. November 1, this is Ranger HQ. Hey, um, listen up. I got a distress call from near your position. A man named Bulb says his mind's being attacked by, uh, Martians. Can you repeat that? I'd really rather not, November 1. <laughs> the distress call wasn't too clear on what these Martians are. But could be any manner of beast or monster. Advise checking it out. I think this bulk fellow will be happy to tell you more. Over and out. Okay. I like those random missions coming in. New mission. War of the Worlds. Well, that's level 15. Um, we're going to chill out on that one a little bit. So this direction apparently not good. Let's play a melancholy one. And after a few incidents, we are in Denver. Or rather, the Denver Ruins. Okay. Denver is uh, named after the former mayor here. Outsiders are forbidden to interfere! At ease, Sister Glory. I know what this is about. The Patriarch has sent the famous Desert Rangers to inquire after his son, Valor. I'll be with you in just a moment, Rangers. Justice is swift in God President Reagan's America. God President. We respectfully request an audience with God President to negotiate on behalf of the Patriarch. Well, well so polite. Excellent. We have something we'd like to discuss with you, too. Ronnie, are you ready to begin the trial? Yes, Nancy. Uh, present the accused. <laughs> I've heard about this thing. Some kind of sentient super weapon. So what? Thank you, husband. First, the heathen godfisher attacked three of our commandos, captured one, cut off his limbs, and sent him screaming into the sky. The gods of the sky must be appeased, or the nurturing rains will never come. Thus, we appease them with our sacred kites and the blood of unbelievers. Well, that doesn't sound very civilized. What's the other one done? Your God is awesome. Thank you. But please, no further interruption. The other one, husband, is a communist robot from the machine <laughs> commune who trusts the land. Your designation is incorrect. We are a direct democracy and I entered your land to heal the injured humans it is irrelevant whether one is communist how Co communist communist as for the hippie no one can be denied the promise that is well America let's give her a second chance go and Send no more. Ha, fools! The gods of the sky will devour you. Uh, thus is justice done in America. God bless us, <laughs> and God bless God President Reagan. That was the worst justice ever. Sorry to keep you waiting, but matters of state must come first. I'm Mother Nancy Reliance, and this is my husband. God, President Reagan. Of Welcome course. To the shining city on the hill. Nice work blowing up that yes, robot. Exactly. A communist robot, no less. Now, if you still want to discuss Valor Buchanan, come and join Ronnie and I in the Western White House. We will receive you in the sacred server room. Good day. The good old sacred server room. Wow, the desert right and you're getting the VIP treatment too. Meeting the god president face to face. How did you and Mother Nancy I'm make the Nancy statue kill the uh, robot earlier? No, we didn't do any of that. That was all the god. I have to protect my Nancy, don't I? Oh, Ronnie. 
You're making me blush. <laughs> Take care. It is so crazy that this almost could be in a cynical way true in the future. Good, opening up doors. And we got crafting recipe. That is always very helpful. I like it. System operational, low power mode off, self. Uh, turn on high power mode. Which hopefully is going to melt something. Uh, you read in the snow, cheerful reminds you of warmer times. Okay, cool. Uh, are you the Godfisher from Reliance that Reliance released? I hope one day to send them skyward so they may delight the gods of the sky. However, first we have a proposal for you. The mechanical giant known as Reagan kills our faithful, delaying the harvest. You have access to the Gipper's inner sanctum. It has three glowing hearts known as terminals. You will destroy these Okay, that's not gonna happen, but okay. You may pass through our camps without fear. We will not harm you. Have to kill innocent people, not a chance. Very good. Well, it seems that this way here might be the easier way to approach all of that. Uh, and that looks like a ginormous fight with absolute batshit crazy lunatics. Cyborg tech. Okay. Good. Once the Godfisher Watcher is gone, might be able to do something here. Lucia and Hogbite. This looks like a bit of a painfully difficult fight. Do we have uh, booze? Booze, booze, booze. I mean, we might need to buy a little bit new. Uh, mm. yes. Never mind. Good, moving all the way to here. Let's uh, start them. Uh, let's start with a little bit of burning. 
And a good old triple stun. Couldn't be better than that, because that means we are not in danger. And might recover from that poor start. Alright, more burning. Love it. Good, for starters, everybody is rallied. Everybody is suppressed, which is good. Uh, besides, Quan, by the way, here. Well, Quan could shoot through all of them. Awkward moves over here. One hit. Wow. Okay. This guy has a thousand hit points. It's We're better cool. marking him. Quan moves to here. Damages armor of every single one of them, which is fantastic. And then throws out that device. And whilst we're at it, can't throw anything else out. But could give him an explosive bolt. So that's the start. Wanted uh, re uh, reasonably well. Moves to here. I want to test our helmet. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. That was good. That was excellent to be precise. Wait, we can just do that again. And that really doesn't cost much. Now they're shocked. Love it. Lucia moves over here. Not her typical turn, but a good turn nonetheless. Solid kill there. Yeah, we could could have thrown a grenade in. Ramos rather reloads. Central blinds that got uh, Fisher there. Good hit. Great, he's bleeding on top of that. Fabulous. Do we really want alcohol? Well, I think we got this one under control.
Good, and I want to test our ambush for once. Oh, that's a nice uh, hit. Okay, maybe I underestimated that ambush thing with a sniper. Our Wolfie takes a lot of damage now. Mm, not good. Hogbite moves over, tries to stun this guy. I tell you what, I would conclude that rather worked out very well. There is another uh, godfisher who has not seen us so far. Great hit. Headshot. And, and uh, she begins to move over here. One moves up, that might trigger that third guy down there. Not quite, but uh, we are doing a lot of work here. And our Waste Wolf Need some healing. Move up. And we'll just take AP over. But wait, Central could still shoot, right? Fantastic, thanks to the Stormer perk. Good. We're doing very well. I think the Godfisher Keeper is now officially engaged. Oh yeah, he is. Lucia gets down to here. And almost kills that newly engaged Godkeeper Fisher. I like it. Quan. Sees an oil tank and with it sees a chance. Rushes down here. <laughs> Very good. Oh my lord, Quan is on fire.
Murphy moves up. Oh yeah, we're going to get a big fat reward for this. Great. More junk. Couple of mad da uh, darts. More junk. There is a flash kite. Oh, it's poor thing, and they they are actually building kites out of pure. Okay, well that's even more disgusting when you see it up close. There seems to be something that we could do here. Not a hundred percent sure what though. Good. On the map, this here leads to the machine commune. So maybe more of these lunatics. <laughs> Let's visit uh, Nancy first. sit up shop there. The Nancys are gonna clear them out after Mother Reliance finishes her big project. Godfishers, eh? Want some help sure with them? Sure would, but ain't my call. I'll be heading back then. Can't believe I just talked to a real desert ranger. <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe I just talked to a real desert ranger. The memes on the screens. Don't keep the god for I wish I could give an audience with don't keep the god president wait. You'll find that the north end of the partner sanctuary of the holy Good, a lot of junk down here. Sys admin log entry 509, testament of Sister Nancy Justice. Another unexpected proclamation today. Mother Nancy has ordered a full audit of Reagan's neural net to try and isolate the cause. Sys admin log entry 1821, testament of Sister chair, Nancy Rangers. Justice. You need a med kit? Reagan's behavior. Talk to me. If you're looking to get pet, if you're man, you'll hear a lot of things about me in this shitty city on the hill. What? Well, you're not happy here. Why wouldn't you move? Where? Colorado Springs? <laughs> Why would I bother trading one dictator with delusions of godhood for? Besides, Colorado Springs has plenty of doctors, and the patriarch would likely string me up within a week for speaking my mind. I. Yeah. Okay. You're probably right. Why do they say bad things about you? Well, I was Reagan's second wife behind Reliance, and now I'm not. We'll just leave it at that. So you quit being a Nancy? Quit. Ha! I was excommunicated. 
Mother Reliance burned my Nancy wig and used my red suit for a toilet rag. She'd hand me over to the Godfishers if anyone else in this Girl Scout camp knew their way around a med kit. Speaking of, I could use your help to drive that point home. I might be able to waive the fees for treating your wounds, if you're interested. What do you want help so, with? Like I said, Reliance would have Ronnie light me up if she didn't need me. So, I, uh... I need to make sure she doesn't start looking at other medical options. Pretty sure the robots at the machine commune have some tricks for healing humans, not just machines. Every once in a while, a Gipper patrol will get lost, injured, and then a couple of days later show up bright as rain, escorted by a couple of robots. Obviously, Reliance has Ronnie blast him before any commie sleeper programming can turn on, but if you're in the commune and get some kind of data on their clinic, I'll heal you up for free. Sure, then, we'll look right. into that. Just don't mention this to anyone else, huh? Especially not Forge. Pretty sure she wants this intel too. But if I take care... Okay, that's a good start. I like that. Um, what's the quest level? Level 10, so that's good. Vault or yeah, we're not going in there. A couple of paintings. Look, I know y'all are a big deal, but that's Gipper property. Hands. Up. I wish I could get an audience with the God President. Don't keep the God President wait. Uh, we're not trying to. There are a couple of terminal guards, so clearly we're not supposed to touch anything here. Let's speak next to the cracks to life. To the Western White House. God President Reagan is expecting. Please come in. Okay. Let's see what good old God President Reagan is doing. They work for my father. Oh, look at who uh, who's here. Veller, you little snippet. You promised to keep me safe. Calm down, Valor. God President Reagan has everything under control. Well, now, welcome, patriots. N N Nancy and I, well, we appreciate your selfless service and want to thank you for it. You are true Americans and we'll good, 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 good neighbors. Now then. Help yourself to some chai beans, and let's get down to business, shall we? As you, as you know, as you know, no, no. You and I have a run, run, run over with destiny. We'll preserve for our children this, the last best hope of man, 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 man on earth, or we'll sentence them to. <laughs> If it takes a blood, 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 let's get it over with. Well, what do you say? Uh, what the heck is this all about? Are you all right? Ameri Ameri Americans are not going to tolerate intimidation, terror, and outright acts of war against this na nation, nation, and its people. How do you tell a co communist? Well, it's someone who reads Marx and Lenin. And how do you tell an anti-communist? -com it's someone who understands Marx and Lenin. Uh, you're not even remotely okay, are you? Government is like a baby. An elementary canal with a big appetite at one end, and well, no responsibility at the other. Why shouldn't we believe that? We are Ameri Americans. Skins, skins, skins. That's enough, Ronnie. You did very well. But it's bedtime for Bonzo now, okay? Okay, ma ma Mommy. Well, I I'm, I'm sleepy. I know you are, darling. Night, night. Thank you for joining the God President and I in the sacred server room, <coughs> Rangers. Before we discuss why you're here, 
I have a proposition for you. A favor that would make us look more favorably on your requests. What do you need us to do? My husband, the God President, wishes to transfer his consciousness to a human body. To accomplish this, we must acquire a... What was it, Valor? A cybernetic transfer module. It's amazing. Basically, what it does is... That's enough for now, Valor. But yes, we must acquire this transfer module from the filthy communist robots that occupy the Denver airport. Or rather, we'd like you to acquire it and bring it here to us. That sounds like a terrible plan. Once God President Reagan has a human body, you'll be rewarded with money, a fine weapon, and we will relinquish our claim on valor and restart the oil to Colorado Springs. Only bad choices here. There is no sane person. Like the guys that are building kites were obviously the worst. Um, the robots seem to have done nothing wrong so far. But then another guy is telling us that all robots are going insane, and Reagan makes a good claim for that. And now they want to uh, create a human version out of it. <sighs> but there is Reagan's gaze involved, uh, which is apparently a unique weapon, rockets, and two fifty in cash. It's a deal. We got the module. You turn over Valor and resume oil shipments to Colorado Springs. Okay. Agreed. But only after Valor helps us transfer God... That's right. They can't do this without me. Yes, dear. Now keep working. Meanwhile, our home is at your disposal. I'll tell the sisters you can come and go as you... Make America proud, Rangers. What an absolute crazy s show oh wow there are a lot of systems and there is another toaster I still get the sense that I'm missing out on the toaster somehow. Hey there, friends. Sister Nancy Forge, Ronnie's fourth wife. Eh, damn right it is. Anyway, I'm the traitor here on top of everything else. Ronnie, when a god tells you your trade, you best listen. Well now, kind of you to say so. What did you like best about it? <laughs> Wasn't easy. No, nope. that reminds me. Make sure you put that to good use, Rangers. Sure, have a look. Oh yeah, lots of good stuff, but the one thing that I learned is don't get too excited about that stuff first. A level tw neutron projector, uh, excuse moi. The game just hands you a massive sniper rifle. Ooh. And there is a sophisticated Camtech chest. Weird signs and strengths. And a lot of armor. And oh, wow, that armor is really good. Hmm. Hmm. Are we going to spend a thousand four hundred on it? It's a really good armor. And all we would need is weird science in strength four, which uh, Lucia could get soon. I tell you what, we're just going to do it. Lots of good stuff here. But I think the most surprising uh, find was this sniper rifle here. Three hundred hit points, and it's ignoring armor altogether. 
And all we need is one more strength here, and then she has a new... Now, the helmet is actually not too bad. Um, the Blast of Energy 40 to 60 is good. If we get her this armor here, then she is very well armored. Has a healing bonus, resistance to poison, and can even armor her better than that. Might as well. Wow. Okay, uh, before we are modifying all of the stuff, let's c select or collect a couple of mods first, because I realized in the crafting part, for instance, with um, that scope, you need a 21 millimeter scope in order to even get higher to that higher higher scopes. Yeah, currently we couldn't craft anything because we don't have alloy barrels or whatever else is needed. So not even that holographic uh, scope. Point being, we need uh, the base crafting materials to even get going with it. But that neutron projector, holy moly. Uh, yeah, well... Turns out it really helps to have uh, the right um, the right amount of skills. I don't know if we want to help Reagan. I mean, this whole thing looks like an absolute sh show. As in, it's really bad, but then again, what are the other options? The kite wielders? Definitely not. The robots? We don't know them yet. Let's first of all try to get to know them and uh, see what's in uh, store if they would rule. Maybe they are actual communist robots and want to create an even worse version. Good. Listen, that's a good, uh, a good cliffhanger. If you see a communist robot near the like button, squash it and click that good old like button. And see you in the next episode of Wasteland 3. Bye bye.